Welcome back to the show. Now we're going to see Minoru Suzuki versus Osami Shibuya. And Josh, this Minoru Suzuki, not the same guy we saw in the early days of Pancras. You're really starting to feel the effects of all the wear and tear he's endured through all the years of pro wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling, the second UWF, Fujiwara Gumi, and uh, from the start of Pancras and, and competing against the top athletes of, of all these sports takes its toll, all the bumps, bruises, your body can only handle so much, but he's got this uh, younger initiate in Shibuya, more of a grappling uh, fighter, should be a little easier for him to deal with uh, without that striking equation. But let's see how it turns out for Suzuki. All right, let's go ringside. Osami Shibuya versus Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki there in his trademark black, Shibuya in the blue. And uh, Josh, similar strengths for both fighters, uh, great at submissions. Right, both great submission fighters with the advantage Fight! going to Suzuki on the ground. Suzuki opening up with some good kicks and Shibuya opening up with a few big strikes there. In the clinch now, so Shibuya firing knees, Suzuki knee in return to the legs. Looking to finish that body lock takedown is Suzuki as he's got Shibuya stuffed in the corner. Continuing to pepper knees in to the legs of Shibuya. More knees as they continue in this clinch. Shibuya in the corner. Uh, plenty of winning experience. 18 wins, 19 losses, 6 draws as you see the ref break the fighters up. Restart, and Shibuya comes firing with Shotes, backing Suzuki up. But Suzuki again getting the clinch, pressuring uh, Shibuya against the ropes and looking for his opportunity to get the body lock takedown against Shibuya. But instead, it looks like Shibuya also going for the takedown. Both men each wanting top position. Big knee from Shibuya lands in the midsection of Suzuki. Suzuki seeming to hurt his hand there. As both fighters are still in the clinch. Body shot from Suzuki and charging Shibuya into the corner. Still in that body lock. Suzuki looking to time that knee for the takedown as he fires now a knee to the body. And it looks like Shibuya, both fighters, Unable to take each other down so far, and Suzuki, it looks like Shibuya scores the takedown. Shibuya looking for that double wrist lock. Getting good position now is Shibuya on that double wrist lock. Suzuki laying there, motionless. Uh, both fighters dangerously close to the ropes. Hey, deep hey. under the ropes, in fact. And the referee will uh, break this up, but... Uh, from the looks of it, it looks like Suzuki can't stand it. He's no, sustained, he sustained an injury. He sustained some sort of injury here, grabbing his hips. And uh, Suzuki telling the referee he's okay, but obviously not. He can't even stand. He's using the ropes to uh, keep himself up as he is down on his knees now. Grabbing his hip. Uh, Suzuki sustaining some sort of injury here. And uh, that will end this fight, 2-13 into the first round, Suzuki loses due to an injury. I have dislocated something there. An unfortunate incident for Suzuki. And if you're Osami Shibuya, uh, as we take a look at the replay right here, Suzuki still looking okay at this point. But right there, something happened to his leg in that, on that moment. And he collapses to the mat. As, as uh, Suzuki will have to be uh, carried out of the ring. In agonizing pain is Suzuki. And if you're Osami Shibuya, uh, you won this fight, but not so much of your own doing, but I'm sure he'll take it. But at the same time, he has to be worried about his teacher in Suzuki. And this has got to be a killer injury to Suzuki. Uh, Josh, he loves to fight, but it seems like as his career is continuing, his body just can't keep up with him anymore. Well, as we would, uh, as it would later be known, Suzuki would dislocate his hip. Uh, somewhat of a freak injury considering, but 
it would take Suzuki out for more than a year and have long-lasting effects on his career from such a debilitating injury. All right, and now we're going to see Ryushi and Nagasaba versus Evan Tanner. Evan Tanner versus Ryushi Yanagisawa. And there you see Evan Tanner in the black. Uh, great record thus far in MMA, 15 and 1. And not bad considering he's self taught. Uh, he says he learned by watching DVDs released by the Gracie family. Evan Tanner, a, also a, uh, a um, veteran of the USWF Fighting League in Amarillo, Texas, and in other uh, Texas town areas, run by Steve Nelson where he's fought such notables as Keith Herring. And knees by uh, Tanner, but Yanagasawa doing a good job keeping those arms down to block it. Tanner, known for his devastating attacks in the clinch, as he stops the victor roll takedown by Yanagisawa, now working the top wrist lock is Tanner from the side control. Yanagisawa, a, uh, of course, a veteran. He's been there since the start of Pancras, has 22 wins, 13 losses, and five ties. He's only got five ties in all this uh, time of work in the ring. I think, uh, I hope he's got a whole bunch of shirts and suits to match him with. <laughs> Very funny play on words, Josh. I expect a lot more of this as uh, the fight continues. <laughs> so uh, Tanner here working from the mount and looking to strike. Yanagisawa down on the bottom trying to defend himself from those strikes. Mounted Yanagisawa. Getting the arm trapped against the side of the head and Tanner going for that signature side choke that has been so successful for him. And it seems to be working. Uh, Yanagasawa, Yanagasawa not doing enough to get out of it. Caught deep in that choke is Yanagisawa. Yanagisawa not moving. And Tanner looks like he's got that locked in solid. This isn't good for Yanagisawa. He has to be careful. This could be it for Yanagisawa if and, he cannot get out of this hold. And he has to do something. He can't just lie down there. I don't know how much longer he can last. Tanner sinking his weight down, tightening the choke ever so slightly. And Yanagisawa, I think he is starting to go just by looking at his eyes. Uh, he's not even keeping them open. Yanagisawa trying to create some space by pushing on that arm, but that doesn't look to be enough to Stop this choke, it's just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Yep. And Nagasawa in serious trouble here. Still in that side choke, he's been in it in for some time already. Tanner trying to adjust, adjust. And he finally taps out. And Josh Ryushi and Nagasawa is part of the bolt club in high school, but right there, just drowning in the middle of the ring in that side choke. Someone throw that guy life preserver. And uh, we can safely say Yanagasawa is nowhere uh, near the shore as Evan Tanner wins in the first round, 224. And like we said, Evan Tanner, a very dangerous opponent. Uh, he was actually a former UFC middleweight mm -hmm. champion, too. Exactly. And uh, in this bout, he was able to sink Yanagisawa's battleship. All right. We have to take a break. But coming up next, we're going to watch some pancreas matches with the new rules. Oh, 